this list came up on Twitter today. Me and Colin sent it in the DMs. We were talking about it. So Hip Hop All Day posted the most streamed rappers of all time on, on Spotify. Spotify. Yes. The list is shocking. It really is. It we'll, really, really is. We'll start at the top. The first thing, yeah, the first thing you notice is that Drake has 84 billion streams, which you're like, okay. At number one. He's number one. Drake's yeah, number one. you're like, one. okay, that makes sense. It does make you, sense. You look at the second place. That's when it gets crazy. And he doubled them. Yeah. Eminem has 41 billion. 41 billion in second place. He and more than doubled them. It's literally more than double. That's fucking insane. Double would be 83.4. He fucking tripled. He damn near tripled Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Almost. We got Drake at number one. Eminem at number two, like Colin just said. Then we have Kanye, Travis Scott, which is crazy. He's he's getting up there. Yeah. Juice World. I mean, a lot of streams for Juice. Kendrick Lamar, that makes sense. Future, longevity game, and just great albums. Nicki Minaj sneaks up here, though. That's pretty crazy. Greatest female rapper of all time. I was going to say, she's just been the best female rapper for... 15 years now like yep. you, you, it's the, also kind of a long cosign the drake cosign yeah i mean back in the day i was streaming super bass 30 times a day <laughs> so i'm like a million of these that's funny and then below cardi or nope not cardi <laughs> below Nicki minaj you got xxx then quavo Which, right above lil wayne again surprising because yeah. he's sl- he's slept on i'm gonna keep saying it he criminally underrated quavo is yeah. i think lil wayne though like the fact that Quavo is higher than Wayne is wild to me. Lil Wayne only having twenty six billion, only twenty six billion, but relatively the whole world, world listened three times. <laughs> yeah, but compared to everyone else, it's crazy. Yeah, no, nah, it's it's wild. Like I figured, Lil Wayne would be like kind of where Kendrick is. Yeah, it, yep. like maybe below Juice World. But Juice World even being up there is kind of crazy. He's, he's just like, like a streaming giant. Yeah, but he's like relatively new compared to. Yeah, he only put Kanye, out like three albums. You know, even somebody like Kendrick. Yeah. And Kendrick has more albums than Juice. And yeah. Juice, like, has limited discography, but a lot of songs that are, like... He has, like, in the top ten most streamed songs, he probably has three. And you see at the bottom, J. Cole. But Lil Baby did hit the list. 21 Savage, Offset, Uzi, J. Cole, and Thug, the last one on the list. Greatest of all time, those guys. Out of this list, who's your least favorite? Least favorite? And who, who deserves to be on here that is not? Hmm. Not who deserves to be higher. Who's not on here at all, but should be. I feel like Nas should be on here. He still drops. He's been dropping since 96. Yeah. I just don't think there's any way for him to possibly hit this list. I guess not, really. People just don't stream it. I don't know. He might be just off. You think? Maybe, because, he, like I said, he still drops. Yeah. And his new drops are good. But all his best albums were pre-streaming. Yeah. So that's why I just don't think it's possible. That's what takes the hit. Yeah, I mean, it's always going to be new people. But... Like, who's relevant now? Shouldn't be? Yeah, who do you think shouldn't be? I really can't even say one. I think they all deserve to be there, to be honest. They're all great. I was taking a look, and I don't think anyone shouldn't be there either, actually. Right? Like, but you know what? Throw Mac Miller on this list to make me happy. Sure. Mac Miller should be on here. Because he, right. he's a streaming giant. Yeah. People love Mac. I'm surprised he's not like where Thug or Cole is, honestly. Right. Especially like his last two albums before he passed. Like People love those albums. But yeah, yeah, that's the most streamed rappers of all time on Spotify. Drake takes the cake by a lot. It's insane how much. And we're still waiting uh, for all the dogs. He teased us yeah. again. Imagine when that drops. For what, like a month now? Yeah. Every Friday, we're like, okay, it's going to drop. I know. For like, drops. It's literally been like five or six weeks. What the fuck, man? Just drop your shit. Do you think it actually drops next week, the one week we're not shooting? Probably. I have no idea at this point. At least we have that. We know we're not going to shoot an episode next week, so it'll probably drop. <laughs> right. Because we, we can't be. talk about it. Yeah. The fuck? So at least we know it's dropping. So you're watching this on Wednesday. Drake album coming in two days. We're actually, breaking the news. It might be what tomorrow. You think? On a Sunday? Saturday. Or Saturday? Because, like tonight at midnight? Yeah, because tomorrow's National Dog Day. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> he posted the cover art. I'm just saying. That means it's coming. I'm just saying. What do you think of the cover art? I like it. I think it's hard. I like it, too. But you know where he got the inspiration? Fly God. True. It does kind of look like that. I'm telling you. But I, I like the album. It's that dog picture that his son drew. It looks like shit. But it, I think, I don't know, something about it. I like it. Yeah. Yep, yep. Well, that's all we got. 
It's off the top podcast. Got you laughing like you hit the gas pack. Show is crazy like you watching Mad Max. Every other podcast is mad whack. Off the top podcast.